Coach Mike McConathy, the Demon basketball team, nearing the one-third mark in the conference schedule and nearing another turning point, too, it looks like. Your team is really showing a lot of grit and uh, has won a close game and nearly pulled off another fantastic rally on Saturday against arguably the best team in the league, Sam Houston State. Talk about the status of the Demons. Well, UNO is leading the league under Coach Mark Schlesinger, but Sam Houston is one game back. Uh, I believe at four and one. I believe that's correct. Uh, they do a great job. They've got a senior-led team. They went 11 for 21 from the three-point line. They did all the little things. But on the other hand, we were able to stay in the game, defensively making some plays to get some easy buckets that allowed us to cut it to three-point game with 33.8 seconds to go in which I was trying to call a timeout. Couldn't get the timeout. We fouled, probably shouldn't have fouled because uh, it was a one possession game and then they made two free throws and we had a turnover on the play after that. So Bree Thompson hit a big three there with 33.8 seconds at coming off a huge game against Nichols. So, you know, we're making progress. Uh, just got to continue to work and play harder, getting some really good play out of a lot of different young men. But but it's it's the defensive consistency that we're searching for, not giving up easy buckets, but we are consistently rebounding. And that's something that if you go back and look at the last three years, that's not been a, a uh, benchmark of this team. I don't know if that's the word that I need to use, but that's not been a, a strong point. And, and we're pursuing the ball and we're doing a great job with rebounding. And Trayvon Joseph kind of leads that charge. But we had something interesting happen on Saturday in that we only played eight guys. When was the last time that happened? And one of those guys played, well, two of those guys played two minutes and four minutes, I think. So really and truly, we played six guys. Uh, Jordan Bell was out with the, uh, going to the funeral, attending the funeral of his grandfather. Um, but Bailey Walker came in and did a great job. Uh, you know, did a, did a fantastic job, competed extremely hard and did some little things. Josh Boyd, whose numbers have not been very good the last couple of games, but playing aggressive, getting rebounds, doing a lot of different things. So we're getting some good play, but our, our um, roster has kind of shrunk. And even though we still have X number of players on it, in that game on Saturday against a very, very quick, smaller team, we could not play people that are bigger unless they were playing in the hole against their, their, their big players and only had one, one on the floor at any one time. All right, for your team moving forward, what has to happen to get you over the hump? I think we've got to come up with a way to get some easier buckets and not give up easy buckets. And easy buckets can come through defense to play to get ourselves in a position to score quickly off of turnovers or steals, playing above, being in the pass lane, being a helping situation if somebody gets beat off a dribble, stepping up quick and guarding and then just rebounding the ball and taking care of the basketball. That was been one of my concerns. If you go back to the Corpus game, we gave up so many points in the first half off of turnovers. We didn't do that as much in the last game, but still we had five turnovers in the first five minutes of the half and only had two the rest of the way. So it just seemed like that we're get, we got them out of the way and then we cut down our turnovers toward the end of the game to put ourselves in a position to play. And one of those was in the last uh, 30 seconds of the game when uh, Devontae was called for traveling, taking the ball to the bucket. Now you uh, head to McNeese on Saturday, already having played the Cowboys once, having gone overtime with them, and obviously the familiarity with the coaching staff, you and Dave Simmons, uh, dear friends. And it's a it's a it's a tough matchup because you both desperately need a win. There's no doubt about it. They were started off two and zero. They've lost three in a row. Uh, they have a game this week prior, I believe, Wednesday, and then we play them on uh, Saturday down there, a doubleheader with our ladies. Uh, so it'll be a big game for us. We got to go out and do the little things to be successful, and uh, you know it's just going to be. We can't get beat on the boards. We we got to compete on the boards. Uh, uh, Stephen, you want to help me with the name? You don't. You can't help me with the name. It's mm -hmm. Stephen. Stephen O has that. Very, very talented player. Very awkward player. Uh, he came out in their game against us and had like 12 of their first points scored, and just really kind of set the tone. 
uh, we got in early foul trouble. And if, if Trayvon Joseph gets in foul trouble, that's, that's a struggle for us because we really need him to be able to do some of the things that he does. And the things he does is he, he creates energy for you, um, has had some really big games for us, and we, we, we just appreciate how hard he's playing. So Bree Thompson playing extremely hard as well, had a huge game against Nichols with 30 career high, 38 points. Probably the most points has been scored by, um, so other than Zeke may have had 38 this year, didn't he, at, against uh, Mississippi State? Zeke had 39 last year against LSU 8. Okay, so second most points have been scored uh, by Demon in, a, uh, in many, many moons. Yep, you're right. Full moons. <laughs> Very full moons. Um, is there, how much difference is there between the Demons being four and one and one and four in the conference? Remarkably close. Uh, you know, and you know, I know that a lot of people are frustrated with us. We're frustrated because we're one and four, but the level of competitiveness and how hard we're playing is something that has been very, very um, pre appreciated because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go give your best effort. Feel like we are giving a great effort. We just have got to play. Uh, make better decisions at, at opportune times, whether it's taking a shot or not taking a shot, getting a block out or not blocking out, the little things there, uh, not allowing them to get second shots off of free throws or when there's a miss, loose balls, 50-50 balls, that means we're pursuing the ball and we're getting to it before them. And those little things uh, turn into to making you win ball games. All right, um, last question. Classes are now in session at Northwestern. How does that change things for your players? Well, it's a little bit different in the respect that, you know, we'll have a regular schedule. In the last month, we've not had a regular schedule. We've had a lot of time. We should have been able to get a lot done. But at the same time, uh, you know, it'll get to where their days are shrunk. And getting into back into the rhythm of that is very, very important. I do think that I did like the fact that we didn't come to school for a week and then we were off a day. I kind of like that we just started up today after Martin Luther King Day. And, uh, you know, that I thought that was good. And we've just got to move forward now. And it'll all be compressed into um, the rest of the semester. And it'll be time to balance out our work and academically as well as athletically. 13 conference games left, a lot of time to go. We definitely do. And, you know, encouraged by the, the uh, I don't know if it's rate or intensity of play. Uh, and I tell you, encouraged by the fans that have been coming to the game. They're very invested in our team, uh, very vocal, and we appreciate that very much. We've not been great in number, but we've been great in spirit and have had no students here. Did appreciate the uh, uh, band and the uh, dance line on Saturday being here for the game, and I thought that was great and look forward to them the rest of the way here for our home games because it's so, so important to have student involvement. Uh, they're going to college, hope that they'll invest in, in, their, in their college basketball teams and the ladies and the men. Fun to watch them, that's for sure.